Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hi. Okay, so there's a little bit of delay on my face, so I don't know if um, that's the way it's supposed to be, but um, good morning. Hey, 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 hey. Cool. I'm super excited, so I'm just going to go with it. So I'm going to tell you some things that you're going to need. Um, we have these super cool um, love molds. This is what it looks like when you pop. This is the other side. We sell these um, at Mr. Knowles Glitter, um, both online and in our store. Uh, this one, I think, is um, $6.50 for the love mold. And this afternoon, we'll be adding these little jars of seashells that you're going to need for this. And these will be a dollar a piece to purchase. So, um, I'm so excited. Thanks. Okay, cool. I get to see you guys. All right. So what else you're going to need is um, I use some popsicle sticks to um, push down my uh, where I need my epoxy and also these little barbecue skewer things um, because sometimes um, because the these are really actual seashells, uh, they have voids in them, you know, like the where the hermit crab would crawl in it or something. So there's going to be air in them. So sometimes you're going to have to squish them down into the epoxy with your um, popsicle stick or your um, your skewer thingy madoodle. All right. Um, so this is the first time I've been working on trying to get this set up to where um, you can see me and you can see our project. So it's not back and forth and there's not that awkward, whoa, let me bring you up. Let me bring you down. Um, so this is really cool. I'm excited about this. So, um, if you've never joined us before, uh, my name's Rachel. I am, me and my husband own Mr. Nola's Glitter, and uh, we're located in New Orleans, Louisiana. So if you're in the area or you're traveling through, come by and see us and check out everything we have. Everything that I'll show you today is available online or in our store, and I'm always available to answer questions or anything like that. We have a Facebook group over, um, of course, in Facebook, that's where Facebook groups go. Um, so we'll, um, you can come over there and join us. You can join us on Instagram um, to see all of all the things that are going on. We have a lot of places that you can follow us. So um, I think that's what we'll do. So if you want to, one second, I'll grab my epoxy. Give us a thumbs up, like this video if you haven't already. Just subscribe to our channel, I appreciate that. We appreciate everyone that tunes in and watches us and hopefully this format is gonna work for everybody and um, It'll be a little bit more personal so I can talk to you guys and you can watch um, while we create something really cool. So one second. One of the questions I get asked a lot is like how much epoxy does one of these projects use? I um, I'm not totally um, I'm not totally sure because I use an epoxy pump. Um, I use the epo epoxy pumps. Mm, let me get my lips working. Um, and so this is um, probably a little bit too much epoxy, but I would rather have too much than have to go back and mix some more. Um, anything extra, I throw in little molds to make um, little chachuts and stuff like that, okay? So um, with that being said, I'm gonna move this one out of the way because I don't wanna mess it up. Um, so we have this one here. Let me see if I can watch me over here. Turn down the sound and make sure that I'm on camera. Look, there I am. Shh, don't say nothing. Let's see. All right, let's see if that works. All right, so this is pretty much on camera. So what I'm gonna do is I have all these seashells. These are gonna be a um, dollar online. This is plenty. You, This is enough to make two or three molds. So um, you'll have plenty enough to do that. I'm not gonna open these because these have been prepackaged um, for uh, to go on the website. So I don't wanna do that. But, um, so I'll just lay out, I'll just pour out the ones that I have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the ones that I want to put. So if you see this, um, I basically just put the shells at the bottom because I wanted it to look like the shells were here and the water was washing over the seashells. You could do this any way that you want, um, any way that you um, think looks the best. You could put them anywhere, but this is the way that I did mine. So I'm going to show you how to recreate this look. Yeah, I, I like it too, Miss Patricia. All right, so um, I am going to 
let's see, I'm gonna use a cleaner mold because that one is kind of icky. This is the one I used last night. So I have it faced towards me, so the letters are at the bottom. Um, make sure that you guys can see this. And I'm just going to lay, um, find the ones that I like and lay them down at the bottom. So what you'll use your um, skewer for is if you want it to move around and um, and make sure they're flipped over, whichever way you want them flipped over. So if you see that when it went in, it went in upside down and I wanted to just flip it over. So when it cures, you can see the other side of the shell. Um, add a little bit. You could add, um, you could do this in different layers if you would like. If you, if you have some um, real beach sand and you want some beach sand at the bottom, uh, you could do, you could maybe like put the mold up like this and um, put the sand at the bottom, let it cure, and then add your other layer. That would be real cool. Maybe we can try that next time. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining. Let me make sure you guys, I might be able to move you a little bit closer. Let's see, hang on. And make this a little bit so I can see a little bit more here so I can see in it let's see how this goes all right so I'm using my little skewer thing to turn them up I like the little see like this one's like pink some little pinky colors sometimes you get these sometimes you don't um, you can get this mold at Mr. Nola's Glitter. We have it in stock. You can get it both in our store, our local store, or you can get it at MrNolasGlitter.com. We have the seashells as well. The seashells will be added to the site a little bit um, later. Uh, when Kelsey gets back from lunch, I'll have her take some really pretty pictures of them, and um, we'll get them added online so you guys can have both the molds and the... Um, and the seashells at the same time. I like being able to do this here so the instruction is saved and um, everyone can check it out and um, we can chat too. All right, this one has like a little weird thing on it so we're gonna move that one out of the way. You can add as many or as little as you want. I might actually, um, because if you noticed in this one, some of the shells floated. So I might actually um, pile them up down here to get a little different effect. Uh, to so it'll, it'll maybe stop, stop them from floating up. And so it'll be really thick. So I'm just gonna lay as many as I can flat down here first. And then I'm just going to pile them up. I will post the results to this mold and the first one that we did, uh, both in Facebook and um, on Instagram. So if you guys are not on Facebook and you wanna see the results, um, I will pull it out of the mold. Probably won't be ready until tomorrow, but I will pull it out of the mold tomorrow and uh, I will show you guys the results that way with the little different look of stacking it. Um, yes, we are driving. Um, we are drive. We are driving in. Um, I think on the 18th, um, we are going to pick up my friend Jill, and she is coming. She is riding with us. We are all staying at the same hotel, so we will. Um, we will be driving in. We are also pulling a trailer, uh, so we can bring some um, while I'm teaching and uh, learning to make some new things, so I can come back and show you guys. Uh, Mr. Nola will have a little um, table vendor spot set up and you guys can um, so you guys can check out some of our stuff in person if you're going to TumblrCon. And then in June, we all know what that is. Dun, da, da, GlitterCon. So I think I'm going to see quite a few of you um, at GlitterCon as well, which I'm super, super excited about. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And just think, if you can glitter it, we're gonna glitter it. We have so many surprises for you guys. It's crazy. All right, there's a little skinny one. 
So I'm just, I'm just taking the little sizes. Is it distorted guys or can you see that? Is it working where y'all can see what I'm doing? Or is it too distorted? This is the first time using this, um, this setup. So I'm not, I wanna make sure that it's working. All right, so I have um, all of them laid down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to try to push them down in there. I'm gonna just add a bunch of random ones so we can make it thicker and maybe they won't float. Maybe I am just going to cause myself problems, but yes. Um, TumblrCon is in Dallas, Houston, Dallas. Houston, Dallas. Mm. Um, GlitterCon is a um, is our event, a Mr. Nola event that we're putting on in June. It's all four weekends in June. Um, you will come and you will once you get a ticket, you'll come and we will glitter our faces off. We will have three days of um, loose instruction. Uh, and tutorials, live demos, um, product testing. You will get to see it all, touch it all, and um, meet some really cool folks um, on top of it. If you guys haven't already, join us over at Mr. Nola's Glitter um, and you can find out all the details. TumblrCon is put on by Steel Magnolia Company. It is a stainless steel tumbler company that I get a lot of my tumblers from. And um, this, is, this one is a three-day event of um, uh, stainless steel tumbler tutorials. So it is, um, she has been a long time in the planning of this and um, she's like getting it down. So tickets have been on sale for that for a while. Um, the event is coming soon. So, um, if you're looking for tickets to that event, there may be some people that are um, selling their tickets or trying to get rid of their tickets because something came up and they can't come. Um, but I think it's been sold out for a while. All right, so I think I'm good with how many shells I have in here. Um, remind me, Miss Patricia, where is it at? I, I always get them confused. Whatever's furthest from me. I think it's Dallas. It's going to be in Dallas. It's downtown Dallas. And GlitterCon is in um, New Orleans, where we are. All right, so I have my epoxy mixed. What I'm going to do, another tip, is I'm going to use a... I'm going to wipe off this popsicle stick so I don't waste any of my stuff. I have um, a silicone cup I want this I'm gonna use this I don't normally use this but I'm gonna use this because I can squeeze it hey guys welcome 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 all right so all right so let me put this on a napkin so I don't mess up my table all right so the reason why I like this is because you can squeeze it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start slowly pouring that epoxy over these shells. Slow is the key because like I told you guys, these are kind of what they consider a live item. I know the seashells are not live, but it's a natural item. Um, it's a natural thing to put in um, epoxy. There's a lot of air pockets in here. So you want to um, slowly start covering these so the epoxy can get down in all those places and start working out of those air pockets. So you're gonna, you're gonna find um, air pockets popping up probably the whole time that you're making this project, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to get virtually a clear piece without burning your mold or um, ruining your, your, your piece. So this is how I do it. I just start by slowly covering the, these shells first so that can start working their bubble there they can start working their way to the top and of course it's filling up the rest of the thing and that's fine because that's where we're going to do our alcohol ink work 
to give it that beachy wave effect. some more epoxy out of that cup and make sure um I am um work I am working with the Bowen um which are the, is the people that I um I buy all of my turners from um with them to build us um a bigger epoxy mixer I like to do a lot of, um, let me put these gloves on guys. Mr. Noah will have a heart failure if he's seen me without gloves on. Um, I mix a lot of epoxy at a time. So um, I, I mix almost eight ounces at a time, a lot of time, especially doing molds. Um, and so they're working on one that holds eight ounces of epoxy. Um, this is, um, I don't even know. I don't know what kind of epoxy this is. Whatever I had laying around. Um, I do not use a mask, Anna. I should, um, but I do not. So don't, don't um, copy over, copy me. I have a mask. I just don't use it. I forget. Um, but so always, always, always protect yourself, guys. Use PPE when you're using epoxy. Just filling this up don't worry about the mess on the outside we're going to clean all of that up we're just wanting to fill this so it covers these shells and those bubbles can start working their, their way out okay all right so I'm gonna reserve the rest for later Yes, GlitterCon, the second half of the tickets for GlitterCon go on sale on the 14th. We only sold half now because we knew when we were announced it, not everyone was going to be ready to purchase. Um, people have to check their vacation times, who's going with them, where they're going to stay, all that stuff. And so we wanted to make it, we wanted it to, we wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to get a ticket that wanted a ticket. Um, so, yeah. All right, so now you see my some, some of my shells are moving, so they're like they're trying to travel. So I'm gonna just take my skewer and push him back where he goes. You stay with your friends, buddy. Some of them are floating already. That's okay. I'm gonna squish them back down. But I like that they're piled up. I think I'm gonna like this, um, the look of this one a lot better. Oops, see these little things they're floating but if they're down here it doesn't make it won't make them very much noticeable because it's just going to be in a pile so I don't know if you guys can see down here we are already starting to get bubbles from coming up from the seashells which is fine I like to use um, thank you <clears throat> I like to use a barbecue skewer barbecue skewer because, I mean, barbecue skewer, barbecue lighter, because you have to hold the safety button. Um, I don't worry about it getting too hot because my finger cramps. So some people, some resin artists like to use matches because also you can't hold a match very long. So you can't, you don't have to worry about overheating it. Yes, and I have, I have one that I just bought and I'm, I promise I will start wearing it. So I just take my little um, barbecue lighter and I run it over. I don't have to worry. I'm not worried about the bubbles at the top because the bubbles at the top are going to work them their way out once we start out adding the alcohol ink. Um, but I'm just worried about the bubbles from the natural shells. So also what I do is I take something heavy, which is um, these are our new epoxy sticks. Remember we had the really short ones before. We had these little teeny tiny ones that I would get a cramp every time I was stirring with that. Um, but I, we got the bigger ones now. So these are like, they're a little bit heavier. They have some behind it. Um, 
Um, Cheryl, we have, um, we take Stezzle, so it's kind of like layaway. You get four easy payment plans. So yes, and essentially yes, layaway, but um, Zezzle. So when I do molds, I kind of like to tap them on the side. And if you can see, it's making some of those bubbles rise to the top. So when I do um, molds with stuff like this, I like to do that. I do everything I can to make sure that I get the bubbles out so you don't have a really beautiful piece and then you have a big void on the other side. So if you can see, there's some rise in here, there's a big one right here, here, here. Just tapping it on the side kind of helps. And then I just take my skewer and I do it again. I mean my, why do I call this a skewer? I think, I'm thinking barbecue. Maybe because I'm hungry. Y'all know I like snacks. All right, so we're gonna let them do what they're gonna do. So the next thing, I'm saving a little bit of that epoxy to flood it out. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our white pinata. Um, I like, Pinata is my favorite white. It's my everything. Um, yeah, same thing. So whenever it was time to reorder, I was like, no, I need something to grab. Like you can really grab this one. So I'm really happy with these versus this. I don't know what people did with this. And I'm sorry that we got hand cramps. No more hand cramps for us guys. We got these big ones. And they're a little bit wider. So it feels like you really get a good start and you don't have to worry about um, the little one. So these are, I think these are on the website now. I'll link all the stuff below. All right. So we're going to use pinata white. We are going to use um, gentian. I think that's how you say it, marabou. So that we're going to use pinata white, but the rest of the inks we're going to use is marabou. Marabou have my heart. I love them. Um, they do um, all their alcohol inks. I love, especially um, my unicorn juice uh, rainbow. So. I will show you, you can see in this piece, if you see the shimmer in here, all the shimmer that you see in here, none of that is glitter. That is this rainbow alcohol ink, um, unicorn juice is what I call it, um, and mixed in with that ink at the end. You see all this shimmery stuff? That's what gives that, that, that effect. I love their rainbow. It is my favorite. I have a hundred bottles everywhere. I put it in every alcohol ink project that I use. Then we're going to have, we have a little bit of Caribbean and a little bit of Arctic to give it that, um, that transient color. So we're going to start with the gentian blue, the dark blue. I add a, I, there's a little bit of room left at the top. Um, it's still gonna go down as the seashells are filling up with the epoxy. So I did say I do have some in reserve to go back and fill after we put all the inks in. And when you add a little bit of epoxy on the top after you add ink, after you do ink work, it gives it like that um, water trickly effect. Okay. So um, I've seen a bubble. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the dark color. I'm gonna make sure that my white is open. I always use pinata white, they're my favorite. So I'm just gonna start with the dark blue. This is the gentian blue. I'm gonna dot, 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 okay. Then I'm gonna go back with the white and I'm gonna go over those dots. Um, I did not. I was saying that um, I don't measure my epoxy. Uh, it is in pumps. This one is four pumps of each side. I guess I need to figure that out. Go back and add um, another dot of the blue. Down a little further with this dark blue. And maybe the top of that a little bit too. It's probably the same. And then go back with the white again. It's 
So you can see the white sinking in these colors. That's what gives you that lacing effect where it looks like it's um, like a Petri dish kind of. So it's kind of it's kind of looking beachy now. So then I'm gonna take, I can't remember if it was aqua. Yeah, it was aqua because I cut it up crazy. So then I'm gonna take the aqua and then go under that with the little lighter colors a little further down. I'm sorry, this is not aqua, this is Arctic. I don't know why I called it aqua. And then I'm gonna go back with the white and do the same. And a couple drops of the white over that Arctic ink. So I don't want it to go all the way over my shells because I want to kind of leave it like the white um, like the clear so it kind of looks like the water is like when it dries um, when it cures it's gonna look like the water is um, washing over the seashells all right so I'm gonna add a little bit more on this white here just a little bit more of the lighter color looks like my table is not level shocker Let's see if I can move this oops don't do that. Don't touch your stuff, guys. Okay, a couple more drops of white. Maybe drop them there, looks like. All right. And then to finish it, I'm gonna take um, my unicorn juice, the rainbow alcohol ink. You have to shake this up really good because it has like a, whatever the rainbow mixy stuff is. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Um, so whatever whatever the mix, whatever they put in this rainbow juice, AKA the um, my unicorn my unicorn stuff, you have to shake it up really good. Um, and you can see, if you can see it on my gloves, it's like unicorn dancing in your hands. So then I take this and I add it all in the rest at the bottom in the clear area. And if I have a bubble, I just pop it. You can see how this rainbow ink is just magical. You see how it's mixing with all of these inks and creating like this shimmery, beautiful effect. Like you can't, you, there's no other way to get this. Um, yes, so I'm gonna, um, I should have done that. I have this little piece that I forgot to put it on. I have a piece of cardboard. So, um, I'm gonna actually, when I, I'm gonna move it to my drawing stand after I'm done. Um, so then um, I will take my, the last bit of clear epoxy that I have left and I will go ahead and cap off. I will actually pour the rest in here to fill it up. I, will, I like to do it at the bottom running up because that way it, it creates that lacing effect like the water. I'm gonna move this over here now so I can there we go. I need to put it up just a little bit. Not a lot, but I feel like there we go. There we go, now it's even. So now you can see that unicorn uh, um that unicorn juice aka rainbow is just like really moving. I don't really take any heat any more heat to it because um, there's a lot of um, alcohol in that rainbow and uh, I have been known to catch my mold on fire. So I do not recommend that whatsoever. If you are worried about um, the epoxy around the outside, you can fix that. You can 
scrape off anything excess on that outside if you want. I don't worry about that. I just trim it up after the fact because I don't want I don't like to move it around too much because um, when you move it around you you mess up the designs. So I just let it do whatever it needs to do and um, I'll clean up the mold I'll clean up the mold afterwards. <clears throat> I might add a couple more drops of unicorn juice. I never could find a, a straight cookie sheet. It seems like they all warp. You have to have like a really expensive cookie sheet that um, like those baker ones. Um, the cheaper ones that I want to use for crafts, they're all like warpy. So you can see the, so you'll be able to see some of your shells floating up. But that's okay since we double stacked these i don't think it's going to be um like they're missing anything so this looks like a hot mess now i know it does but i promise you when we unmold this it's going to be fantastic so and that's it guys it's super easy this is a really 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 quick um quick tutorial and let me take my gloves off so you guys can i'll show you up close again what it's going to look like when it is cured gloves over there so this is what so this basically is kind of similar what it already looks like on the bottom you see the still that you can still see the unicorn juice in there shimmering around the lights i can show you guys how to do one with lights um the lights you would just lay in your mold first and then you would pour if so if you wanted lights in this you would pour i don't know that i would mix the lights with the shells um but you just put you just mold the lights i have one here and i'll show you um into your mold and then you pour the epoxy on the top of it so this is the back side, which kind of looks pretty much basically just like that. This is what it looks like in the front. So it's kind of 3D. You can see that white alcohol ink, how um, it starts to um, move to the bottom, like sink to the bottom, and it creates these really cool effects on the side. It kind of looks like, um, I hope you guys can see that. It kind of looks like the water's dripping. Um, and then you can see from this side, this is what it looks like the rain, when the unicorn juice, aka the rainbow, does the same. And then it just gives it that all over like beachy effect. So I'm looking forward to having like all of this covered with the shells on this one because I stacked all the shells. This one I just put one little single layer of shells. So um, yeah, so that is that. Um, if you see bubbles coming up here, you can, um, you can watch it for a little bit and just use your um, pointy stick to um, pop them. I just wanted to, I'll just keep an eye on this to make sure we don't get any more bubbles. But um, yeah, so that's pretty simple. It's super easy and you get, hey Jerry, you get a really big effect with this. So um, this is my happy place mold. So I'm gonna put this over here. Um, on the drying table. Oops, that is not level at all. I'll put it up here. Okay. Yep, that's not level at all either. Nope. Well, let's try that. Okay, that might be level. All right. So, to do the um, to do the fairy lights in them, let me pick up my mess real quick, and I'll show you guys how to do that. I won't have time. I don't have um, epoxy mixed or anything to do to sh to fill it, but I will show you guys how easy it is since I have it right here. Let me grab a paper towel. Make sure I don't touch anything with epoxy on it. Yes, you can chat with me. A pump is usually an ounce. Okay, <clears throat> I did not know that. I don't, I just didn't know that. Okay. So, um, this is the same mold. Um, we sell these uh, in our shop. 
both online and in the store. They're called fairy lights and they're really cool. They're little battery operated uh, lights, which you can see. Oh, they're kind of bright, really cool, right? So you can see that. Um, let me make sure where we are here. So let me turn this off and I'm gonna unwind it. So it's pretty long. I don't remember the exact length of them, but they're kind of like on a wire. So you don't have to worry about the epoxy messing with them. Um, they are made to put in epoxy. So uh, they're perfect for, you don't have to put it in this mold. You can put it in any mold. I think um, Angie might've put it in um, one of the little critters or anything like that. I've seen them put them in just about any kind of molds. Um, but I liked the love mold, how to put it in the love mold. So we'll show you how to do that. Hey, Michelle, how are you? All right. So I like that I can talk to you guys and do this and, um, we can share, we can share how to do things with a lot of other people as well. So if you're watching me untangle these wires and you are enjoying this video, could you give me a thumbs up? And um, if you haven't already, like and, um, and subscribe to our channel. That way you can be in the know when I do, when I go live again, it'll let you know. All right, so they're pretty long. So what I do is I like mine to end at the end of the letter. So we are going to, thanks Jessica, thank you. Um, we're gonna start at the, the top of the L. So I will grab a clean popsicle stick, which I don't have. Let me see if I can wipe one off real quick so I can reuse. Is this one sticky? No, nope, I'll just flip it around and use the other side. Thank you. All right. So I just use a, a, a popsicle stick. Use whatever you could, you have, because um, you're gonna need to kind of like push it down into the mold. So um, I just do this. So if you see, it's about two and a half inches in between each. Um, is that where we are here? You can see that. Um, about two and a half inches in between each light node node whatever so i can light it up maybe it'll make it easier for you guys to see for shadow box i think so i think so they're led lights so they're super bright i would show you the other mold that i have um, that i made with it in there but um sometimes we have little fingers that come into the shop and they just love to touch things that don't belong to them and that's what happened to my um, other one. Um, they touched it and broke it. So I am just trying to measure how to put it in there. And so I want that to be lit up at the top really good. So it's really easy to mold it because it's uh, like, I don't know, whatever kind of wire this is. It's moldable wire. It's like. like aluminum foil wire or something, I don't know. It's not aluminum foil wire, but totally, wait, totally off. Um, what kind, what, what, um, what molds are you using that you need a mold release? Is it for something that's not silicone? Usually silicone, I, ha I never really have to have a mold release. Now, if I'm using like a hard plastic mold, um, which I've, I have, I've had a few of them. Um, I've had to use um, a few of them before and they're really hard to get out. So I can understand a mold release for that. But silicone molds, I've never really had to use a mold release. I mean, I've never seen, I've never really seen, seem to have to use a mold release. Copper wire, that's what it is. Okay, cool. So I'm just um, bending it around my mold and 
making sure it's bent at, at the right angle so it stays into the mold. So if you see when I did that, I wrapped that around the O and I squeeze and I pulled it tight. So that's going to help it um, lay flat when it comes time to put your epoxy and your glitter over the top of this. It's copper wire. No. Yeah, it's really, um, it's very moldable, bendable. So I have two left. Where would I want to put them? So I think I'm going to push this down here. Stay, buddy. Stay. Stay where you are. And put this. Fold that there. Push it down. So you can wrap it around or lay them any way you want into your mold, any way you want. Um, if you want different letters lit up better or something like that you can do that the good thing about this is when you um, I will use when I put epoxy in here I won't make I will use an iridescent glitter so the lights will bounce off of the um, the glitter flakes I'll use something really reflective like um, Louisiana lace or something like that um, and then the light will bounce off all those flakes so even though I don't have say a light here and a light down here it won't matter it will carry through so if you see that so then that's it um, you will I just make sure that everything is bent with my little popsicle stick bent the way I want it to bend so this one is sticking up so I will bend it down And that is laying down. Everything is laying down the way I want it. And then I would mix my, except right here, which is really teeing me off. There we go. Um, I would mix my epoxy and mix the glitter that I want. You can use different color glitters. I used um, neon iridescent glitters last time and it came out super pretty and you could see the lights through it. So anything that's reflective, anything, any kind of opaque glitter um, may not be your best bet. Translucent glitter is gonna work the best when you're using lights and uh, mixing it with epoxy and glitter. So um, think anything iridescent and um, chunky would give it a really big sparkle factor. Um, you would, it would, um, it's gonna reflect. The bigger the flake, the bigger the sparkle. Doesn't matter in what kind of glitter, especially when light's bouncing off of it. Southern Belle would be really pretty in it. Um, maybe make a little mix of both. Um, yeah, so, um, never buy again. I have a very tricky time with a certain resin, I swear. Um, oh, really? Yikes. Yeah, that shouldn't happen. Sometimes I leave my molds in for a couple days, especially if I'm doing it on Friday and um, we leave for the weekend or something. I'll come back and do it on Monday, but I never have a problem. This one's a little harder to unmold because um, it's so thick, um, but there's a trick. You just punch the inside of this down um, and then the inside of these down so it makes it easier to unmold. But yeah, it, these are, this is not chill. This is not really hard to unmold. All right, guys, um, I will mix some epoxy um, later and get this poured. Uh, it's just like I did with that, slow and steady. Um, and um, then I will post a video of, I mean, I'll post a, a picture of the one that we did and this one um, on Instagram and Facebook. And so you can come and join us over there. No, I actually, Roxy, I take my epoxy and I mix my glitter into the epoxy. So I just pour it all at one time. If you wanted to do an ombre, you could just do, you could just have different mixing cups and do the different colors. Um, the one I did out there, I did every letter a different color. They're gonna mix a little bit in the beginning, in the middle, but that's what calls, that's what creates the ombre. So um, yeah, you can, uh, if you want other little things in here, I bet you probably now looking at it, you could totally probably put the seashells in here and combine them both together probably would probably would be really pretty especially in this one where I used just the 
um, the one layer of shelves. If the light was behind there and then it just like shown through there, that's really pretty. That would be really cool. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, be on the lookout in a couple hours. You'll be able to buy the shelves directly from us or you can get them from any craft store. Um, the molds you can get from us and the fairy lights you can get from us. So um, thanks for hanging out with me and um, I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, bye guys.